Is that Ryumi? Yeah. Okay. Tell him he's cool. Um, I've been told to tell you you're cool, Ryomi. Not by Agi, actually, from a third party. What? You got a fan, like, yeah. in the venue. Come over here and, like, meet him. That was my mistake, my bad. Oh, you're good, you're good. There's a mod I want you to get for you. Yeah, uh, tell me later. Don't worry, that's not me up there. You're not gonna be watching Game and Watch Snake today. Unless he makes it to Grands, which he could. All right, guys, here we go. Game one. Whoever said you were cool was also cool. I'll let them know that. Here we go. You know, very few people can say that they played Belmont Snake, especially not often. One of the few couple of people that can. And it's something you see a lot here. It's definitely meant to be a volatile matchup, I feel, because both these characters are very trap-based. They're very, mm -hmm. um, advantage state focused Absolutely. Um, especially Belmont with Holy Water. It's really just all about stage control in this matchup. I almost wonder if he's going to be trying to land a lot going high here at Snake, because Belmont's a little bit worse at catching landings than he is at edge play. Well, it looks like we're seeing that already. Mm -hmm. yeah. These two have played each other so much that they really just got to try to mix it up as much as they can. Absolutely. Um, they're so far deep in the rabbit hole of mix-ups, so... Exactly. They got to find something new, play a new character, something like that. Anything they want to do to, like, break the stalemate. The War of Attrition. I've been noticing Kobo's been going Snake a lot today, which is interesting. Um, what if it's because he's on the loser side, or because he can feel more confident in it in some way? Jack, can you guys tell if, if our uh, volume is okay? Yeah, let me know if I'm like coming through alright. Uh, either way, we're gonna have Kobu here. Knocked down. Gotta find his way back in here. Ooh. A little loud, but it's clear. Okay, I'll, I'll be a. I'll chill a little bit then. Now let's not mess with it, let's not mess with it. Okay. That might be too low. Who knows? There we go. Um... Yeah, you get, you're definitely going to see him landing a lot. I feel like that's his big mix-up this time. Yeah. Trying to get some sort of little edge on him. Which good for him for knowing that, uh, you know, Augie's not, or should I say Richter, isn't too good at catching, uh, falling and stuff. Yeah, they've probably played it so many times that, like, at this point it's just muscle memory. Like, I need to go hide because I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've been holy water F-tilted enough times, you probably understand. Very good horizontal momentum there, honestly. Like, just using the upbeat of get across the stage, land where he's not expecting. And that's gonna take it. That's rough. Um, at ledge. How to go, not team. Not a ton of options. Nice. Good Congrats. job. We get a shout out to Ochi. OT. Like, come on now. OT for winning her set. For sure. I believe that was early elimination bracket. Wait, I, I didn't say that. Who won? Oh, uh, that was Agi. Uh, last time Kovu lost game one, he immediately switched to Fox. So I'm wondering if he's gonna switch here. I think 
Oh shit, it's Fox. You're right. Here we go. Fox is not the move. Come on, Ryum. You have some faith. You did well with the Fox last time. I think this furry animal can cook. Uh, last time he struggled a lot with up he had a shield, like every time he landed. Um, I believe the answer he found then was... I don't even remember, to be honest. But... Looks like Yuri's not even worried about it too much. I have a greedy up smash, trying to like push his momentum a bit further than it. A little loud. I think you probably punish the dash attack with an up smash on reaction, but I'm not a fox man. That should be it here? Yup. Hopefully it doesn't get taken out with him, but... <laughs> Still, that puts back kill percent as fox here. Really good use of the holy water, good awareness. He's doing really good at trying to get in there, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I need, like, the small openings right there, like, on a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Oh, he's cooking now. Mm -hmm. Very close so far. The thing I always find interesting is that Kobu tries to avoid, like, playing his main against Agis as they play so often. Well, he just lost his snake. Yeah. That makes sense, though. I think the same thing happened last Definitely week. Definitely the advantage to, for Kobu is that I think... I think that, obviously, like, Agi plays other characters, but I think he's more inclined to play Richter or Simon. Hmm. But the thing about Kobu is it's good for him because... Be, because, like, he he's good with his other characters if he ever has to switch. Yeah, he fundamentally has an easier time doing it. Absolutely. Right. That's a lot of shield pressure. There is. He's doing very good. How is he doing this? There's no way. Oh my gosh, wow. Those are facts in the Belmont matchup. Mm -hmm. He's ready. Should be ready to play. They're... What a sick game from Kobu. And just like that, turning the tables with three stock. Crazy. It, oh, always, it always happens like this. Every single time they play, it usually always goes to like game four, game five. Mm -hmm. Just like that, like looking like a whole new player. That was yeah. interesting because like he knew his opening is a lot better there. He knew like after Agi uh, swings, before he can swing another attack, he has time to like hit mm -hmm. him when he jumps. Um, something like landing fair F tilt, right? Like he knows the timing to hit in between those. That's really important in this matchup, and he just exploited that extremely hard there. <laughs> yeah. So three characters. Yeah. I could be a dude. Ryomi, you said Fox is not the move. What do you have to say about that now? No, no, no. Set's not over. Ryomi yeah, might have, you know, seven. Noah's got talent. Got like three. I think of anyone else, like the PR. Well, he's not PR anymore, but yeah, he, yeah, him and Dilser. Yeah, just want to see Ryomi. Ryomi still got like that faith in Agi, so. He's saying he just needs a little bit of time to adapt. Yeah. Fox just plays the same. Another's got two. I feel like I hear that move. Oh, Fox. Okay. He's doing a really good job keeping him in advantage above him. Um, yeah, absolutely. I've noticed He's compared right. to last set last week, he's went upstage a lot less. Is the Belmont Brothers like, are they good at landing? It's just Belmont Brothers. Um, or Belmont, whatever they are. I think they're like not from. They, Part of the same family or something, like distant relatives. Or, yeah. I think one's like hundreds of years in the future from the other but one. But are they good at landing? <laughs> yeah, Waffle has my back here. <laughs> brothers? <laughs> I just call them brothers, let's just like... Yeah, dude, the Belmont brothers. Just mess with everyone who's played Castlevania. So the Belmont brothers here, um, yeah, they sure a little bit to land. Because um, Kobu's doing a god good job keeping him in the air, but is, he, are, is that because... Is he trying to keep him in the air because he's bad at landing? Landing okay. options, I mean? Man, that yeah, is I think wall. I gotta deny that one, Waffle. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there for the time being. I oh my god. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Whoa! I think I should allow that. No! Um, <laughs> let's, just, let's just leave that for now. Um, I'm so tempted good. to click allow. I think that's what we need to represent our tournament. 
I think so too. OT is so right. <laughs> I'm being outvoted here. I want nothing we've to do some, with this. We've seen some. We've seen crazy. I'm stuff. leaving the setup. I'm having nothing to do with this decision. <laughs> <laughs> OT, not, you click it. I'm not culpable for this. <laughs> no shot, dude. You, thank you. Anyway, back to this family-friendly stream. Kovu, guys. OT has monster. never had a monster before. What do you guys think about that? She's gonna live longer than all of us because of that. Though, yeah. What a bozo. Wait, wait, how old are you? 17! Bro, I'm only 19. You act like I'm like an old woman over here. Yeah, see, Waffles, like, she shouldn't. Yeah, like, that's a good thing. Like, oh, I'm updating it. Um, Look, Aid is doing a lot better, able to keep up pace with the Fox. Um, he actually lost last set, game 5, to the Aegis switch, so... It looks like this might actually be the counter pick he's looking for. I think we should ban Waffle Me Awful. No, 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 Waffle Me Awful is my goat. Dude, but he cannot be saying that stuff. So. I'm glad Twitch caught it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because imagine if Twitch, like, didn't recognize. No, no, it's, uh... That, that was a little bit, you know, not great, but... Let's... Wow, the up airs are wild there. Oh, okay, yeah, Fox, um, finding a lot of mileage out of that. Augie's getting a little bit of a lead. Not anymore. Oh, they're back. Kovu the lead. Oof. Getting in really close. Really analyzing a lot of the options he can do in here. He's pulling them off tremendously well. Nice clink. Mm -hmm. Good punish. Good punish for Augie. So one thing from last week that I noticed is that the way Augie won was a lot of nares at a disadvantage. So was very greedy when she was trying to, when he was trying to juggle him. Um, not seeing that a lot here, which means that you might have like kept that in mind, which is cool. Um, I thought up smash. You don't see that very often. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe that down smash didn't hit. Ooh, nice shield. Yeah. Aki's definitely doing a lot better than with the Richter Simon. Mm -hmm. These are characters that like, they can both keep up pace in neutral better, and they get out of this advantage better, so. Yeah, Aki's really trying to look to take this thing to game five. Yeah, Ryumi, that's so true, dude. And like, seeing in the corner here, like, oh, wow, okay, upon opening, I just as I said that, um, but yeah, seeing him in the corner here, like, struggling to get out, it's a fairly ca scary character, like... Ira, and that's Eftel's gonna do it. I'm on the edge of my seat, dude. It's so close. Oh, boy. He is actually cooking now. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Who let him cook? It's nice to see... Augie's doing good, bro. Come on, Augie. It's nice to see, like, the edge is working out. Like, you know, he's been working on this for a very long time. Yeah, I'm seriously. Proud of him for committing, honestly. It's paying off right now, and you can see it right here at Jackson Arena, number 13 in Loser's Quarters. If you're Kobo, if you lose this game, what do you do at that point, right? Do you stay? Do you switch? Do you like gamble at all? Like, what do you do? Ryomi says free. Yeah, dude, it might be free. I don't know. Yeah, there's an error. Is, is that is that how it's gonna end again today? Oh. I was thinking. I was thinking Aki was gonna punish that dash for that uh the side B. I think it was was. In the exact same situation. Oh my god! I the exact same situation as last week. Dude, yeah, Augie crack, dude. The same situation as last week where Augie loses his jump. Kovu goes for the kill, and he's nared on the way down. 2-2, two, two, and for the last 13 weeks in a row, we're going to see this game go to game 5, dude. Just like that. The reversal. Kovu needs an answer to that if he wants to start winning more consistently. I'd like to shout out the Mega Mall today's sponsor for Jackson Arena number 13. Going to be sponsoring it now for a little bit. Got lots of cool antiques, collectibles, and all sorts of cool stuff out there. Yeah, the Mega Mall. It's located at 15487 Old US 27. There's about 400 booths there, three to 400. Lots of cool stuff. You got video games, you got home decor, you got kitchen stuff, you got lots of linens, you got a lot of cool stuff. And Funko Pops to everything, man. Great, great time out there.
Michigan's most unique shopping experience. You don't just go for the shopping, you go for the whole enjoyment time. Bring your family, bring your dog, bring your cat. Don't bring your cat, I don't think that's allowed. I'm the assistant manager there, don't do that. Uh, but yeah, Can great time out cat? there. No. Oh, okay. Talon, you could not bring your cat. Right. He's going back to Snake. Where's it at? Where's can snake? I bring two cats? Snake. Uh, yeah, I think you could bring two, actually. Okay, I have eight. Dude, I have a, such a hard f time finding Snake. Where's Snake? Right there. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, back to Snake Room and calling it. This makes sense, I mean, Snake's pretty good in sword sometimes, just like, because of that. Um, what was up, grenade? What all is that? That's... Okay. Oh, that was a really nice place up smash. Um, dude, Ryomi definitely you called it, bro. Wow, and he's finally able, finding him like in disadvantage a lot better. Um, without Fox, he's no longer struggling to like deal with Nair on the way down and stuff. I wonder if Kobu will regret this decision not staying at Fox. Um, I think mm. we just gotta roll it out like, no matter what happens, even if it's an up F smash, you know. You gotta not doubt yourself if you want to switch. Nice. And not doubting yourself Completely results in that. Completely even game five. Down tilt, down tilt. 28%. Yeah, it's so hard to find your openings as a sword character in Snake sometimes. Uh, you have your grenade out and it's just been so hard to... Even up be just losing. Everything losing. Still, he's finding himself behind here. Ooh, down a stock. Last game. Bit of a drop there, I thought he was gonna dash attack it for sure. Lofton coming in to help. Agi, uh, perhaps the town pick might not good have. for Kobu. Ooh! Ooh. Just like that last stock. The clutch is coming out, dude. The damage is starting to add up too. I oh mean, my god, no way, no way, no way. If you're Aegis, you really don't want to be taking this. <gasps> Ooh! Keep on, with a character like this, it's not just no! about KOing them outside, it's away. about having them like get knocked off far enough so that you can edge guard them. And Snake, with Nikita, can do that. So characters like this, you don't necessarily need to get them to kill for some. You can hit them horizontally hard enough. And with most of Snake's moves hitting horizontally like dash attack that's very very important for grand finals i think we should just shout on a monopias boom slash no no it's not <laughs> sorry that'd be that'd be so cool it'd be a lot better than what happened last grand finals last week did you hear the audio oh yeah you hear the yep. audio oh that's it that's it that's it yes kobu's taking the game I just learned that the fist bump being given. Kovu coming yes, out on top. Yes, sir. Closer. Comeback happening. Kovu clutch moment. Common Kovu W. All those grades getting that damage racked up. Kovu is 